There's a new owl box in the backyard. The uh, Songbird Essentials Screech Owl, Kestrel, and uh, Flicker uh, box. But it makes a great uh, Screech Owl box. I've been using the uh, Stovall uh, Screech Owl box since, I guess I bought it in uh, 2010. So there's been like nine straight seasons that I've been using the Stovall. But last year, if you were watching, the uh, Stovall got infested with uh, mites and uh, fleas. And it was kind of in a real hot place because a couple of trees would knock down from the hurricane. So it was hot in there and the owls really had a rough time of it and they lost two of the three outlets. And usually the owls check into the box in Florida in uh, December or January and usually lay eggs by uh, February, early March. But this year, uh, they, you know, they obviously were avoiding that nest box. So I kind of rushed and bought this uh, Songbird Essential Screech Owl box after doing a fair amount of research on Amazon. I really like this box. It's cedar, a little bit larger than the Stovall. It's real easy to open on the front. It's got a little latch you just open and the whole front just tilts up. It's got a little bit of a larger hole up toward the top of the uh, roof rather than more toward the middle like the Stovall had. And uh, really a nice box. I like it a lot. It's real easy to put up. And uh, you know I paid this, paid for this with my own money so this was a real test. So the idea was to try and save the screech owl season by putting up this new box. Uh, I put it on the, uh, let's see, uh, southwest end of the gable of the house. So it's facing away from the sun all day pretty much. And there's a, a big mango tree right next to the house there. And, uh, you know, basically this, this uh, box stays in the shade all day long, which is important in Florida. It kind of depends where you are. If you're up north where it's cold when the uh, screech owls nest, you might want to get some sun on it, but down here in Florida, uh, March and April, you know, April is usually the time when the outlets are hatching. And in that box, I mean, the conditions in a box exposed to the direct sun in Florida can just be brutal. And it's painful to watch. Last year, I had to set up an umbrella over the stove owl box to try and keep the owls uh, shaded. So, uh, you know, this box is really in a good place. And I was getting a little, I installed this in February, and it sat empty, and this, we're now in... Uh, this is now March uh, 24th, and I was getting kind of worried that the uh, screech owls, which I've been hearing every night in the, in the backyard, they've been, you know, every night they make a commotion, uh, either courting or uh, hunting. So I was kind of afraid that the screech owls might not nest this year, but lo and behold, just the other day on March uh, 23rd, the female owl moved in and uh, started spending the night there, and as soon as it gets dark, she goes out. So. Anyway, to give you an idea, I really, I really like the new uh, Songbird Essentials uh, Screech Owl box much better than the old Stovall, which has become harder to find. They're still pretty pricey. I mean, it's it's usually around sixty to sixty-five dollars, but it's really a high-quality product. You can see here that it opens up, and it's really easy to install a camera. I'll uh, talk a little bit more about the camera. The other thing too is when you put it on the gable end of the house. The squirrels have no way at all of getting after it. They can, you know, they, you'd be surprised how hard squirrels sometimes can try to get an owl box. But uh, the one most important thing for my backyard is keep the squirrels out and uh, keep the sun off the box because it's just so brutally hot. And uh, now that they've moved in, uh, it looks like things should go. Here's a picture of the old uh, Stovall owl box, which used to be partially shaded, but we had a couple of hurricanes in the years and some of the big trees went down and they became more and more exposed and then last year it got infested with bugs so I think they're gonna really like uh, the new location of the uh, Songbird Essentials uh, owl box and uh, I think they'll be successful so we'll uh, see in the coming uh, weeks how everything goes but I expect uh, everything to go fine and what I really like about the Songbird Essentials is that uh, you know the quality of the cedar construction and uh, also, I've used a, uh, a new green backyard camera that's on Amazon that I really like a lot. You can see I've got one in each. I've got one here in the old uh, owl box. I've got one in the woodpecker box. And I've got one in the new uh, Songbird Essential Screech Owl box. And I'll put links to both the new owl box and the camera in the description below. Uh, but these new cameras run on uh, Ethernet cable. So you run... Uh, and the power goes over the internet so you, you get a powered camera all the time you don't have to worry about running extension cords and you don't have to worry about running uh, you know cables you can just run 
uh, mount the camera real easily in the box and then run your uh, you get about I think it's about a 80 feet of uh, Ethernet cord powered Ethernet cord so you plug that into the camera you can see the little receiver there and you can see it blinking you run that into the house and plug it into your internet uh, provider's uh, uh, router and uh, open up the um, software that comes with the uh, camera and you can uh, in, uh, you can watch it right on your uh, computer laptop or a smartphone anywhere you know anywhere you have Wi-Fi you can connect to your home Wi-Fi network you can see it and I'll talk a little bit more about it later but it's also a lot easier to stream online like to YouTube for example uh, using some various uh, generic uh, streaming software and that's a, that's a story for another uh, a day but this is the uh, HD camera bird camera kit from Green Backyard it's about a hundred hundred and ten dollars but it's really great and here's a picture of the software the gold bong inside you can see the two owl boxes the one on the left is the new one the one on the right is the old one and uh, it really worked great so I'm looking forward to streaming some good action with the owls and the other thing about the um, new uh, Songbird Essentials owl box is you see it has two uh, cedar planks on the outside of the uh, door which is you know to help the uh, owls climb up and get into it but the bottom one you don't really need what it doesn't have inside is a perch so what I did is I took the piece of uh, wood that's uh, attached to the outside of the lower end of the door and removed it cut it just slightly to fit inside and then put it inside about three inches below the entrance hole so it makes a nice perch inside for the owl to sit there uh, you know they like to sit there and uh, look out the uh, the entrance hole a good portion of the day when they're not sitting on the eggs and uh, that really makes it nice for the uh, them to get in and out too the other thing that's nice about the new owl box is the way it's set up is um, when the mother owl is sitting in the entrance box looking out she's not blocking the view of she won't block the view of the owl it's like the other box said with the stovel uh, when she was sitting in the uh, entrance hole looking out and she was right kind of like in the middle of the box and she would be blocking for the most part the view of the outlets as they were developing so we should get a better look at the uh, outlets and you can see the really nice quality of the uh, camera it'll run in uh, 1080p I'm running it in 1280 by 720 this is just an example of her sitting in there you can tell the way she's sitting up that she hasn't laid eggs yet once she sits a once she starts incubating eggs she'll sit down and get that little uh, patch under her belly there right on the egg and warm it up but they've just started uh, moving into spending the night in the owl box here the other night so I would expect the first egg uh, would come in the next uh, several days or so and usually they lay three or four and take about 26 27 days to uh, incubate so they're running behind schedule this year about three to four weeks behind schedule really but the good news is they moved into the brand new songbird essential owl box and we've got the new green backyard camera in there with uh, it should be easy to stream over the internet so uh, stay tuned there should be a lot of fun and again I really am impressed with the new owl box and the camera setup and I'll put links to that information in the description below the video